So this is really cool. The internet has just been broken with this from the past week. The company OpenAI, known for releasing the image creation AI thingy, um, whatever, DALI 2, thanks Elon Musk, uh, has released another thing called ChatGPT. Now this is a chat bot and it's so cool. It's not your everyday chat bot that goes, press one to accept. <laughs> That was so bad. Anyway, uh, what can it really do? And where does its limits reach? Well, that's what we're testing in this video. Let's get right into it. So what is ChatGPT? As I said, it's a chatbot. According to OpenAI, it's used to sort of test and improve human and um, technology communication. So really get AI to communicate better with humans. They tell us that it's used for general purpose stuff like asking it questions, communicating with it um, and talking to it about like uh, maybe essays and stuff, right? But it can be really be used for a lot of things. Now, ChatGPT doesn't actually connect to the internet. It uses a huge training data model. Um, and this training data model was trained up to 2021. So any super recent information it won't know of, but most of the stuff it will know. And from what I've heard of people and from the little bit of testing that I have done, it is freaking cool, right? It's really, really cool. Just like a subscription to this channel will be. In case you don't know, it'll be cool. My camera guy is just so close to laughing in like embarrassment. He's right there. Anyway, um, we're going to put it through its paces here. And we're going to really see what it can do and what it cannot do. And uh, my camera guy is going to help me out for that. All right, let's go. Let's go. So we're going to open up the website here. It's chat.openai.com. And you'd have to sign up. But you know what? I already did that because I was impatient. All right. What is the difference? I can't type properly, bro. Macroeconomics and microeconomics. Check this out. Can I just say that this explained what my teacher took 40 minutes to explain in like three seconds? Let's ask it a few more. That's 1.2 open AI. Why not? Right? What is a phase difference in waves? Let's ask it something scientific. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, that's correct. Two points to that. Very simple prompt, yeah. Why write a story on Winnie the Pooh? What will it come up with? I, I have no idea what it will come up with here. Oh, it's going, it's going. I'm gonna copy this, put it in the description, y'all read this. This will be provided to y'all. Please study this story. Okay, next one. <laughs> what? Okay, done. Oh, it already started. <laughs> So optimistic. <laughs> like I was hoping for some action, you know? All right, you know what? I have a test for it. Okay, I'm gonna ask it, make this story more sad. Sad and savage. What? 
Okay, I'm not putting this in. If children are watching this, they should not read this. <laughs> Make this story one that a dad would read to his kids. Um at bedtime. Add a moral to the story. <laughs> Check this out. I would read this if I had kids and like if you know my life actually included girls who liked me. I would do this. As you know, that is not reality. Okay, let's go non-fiction. I guess. Right. A short three hundred word essay on the importance of a banana on a cup. <laughs> okay, this is making it think. It's not coming up with anything so far. Did we just like break the AI? I'm so optimistic. No, no, it's doing it. <laughs> you know what? This is actually kind of true. It didn't stop. Um, it's just processing. Okay, let's reset thread. Let's. Uh, okay, simple thing. Right. Uh, guess the number game in Python. Very simple. Oh, it immediately started. Okay, let's try it. Guess the number between one and hundred. You you play this. Sixty-nine. Your guess is too high. Forty-two. Still high. Still high. <laughs> low. I mean, it's too low now. Too high. Oh, it's between both of them. Too high. Ten is too high. It's a single digit then. Seven. Oh, you guess the number in seven guesses. Okay, you know what that works. Okay, I have an idea for it. I want to give it a follow-up instruction. Make it so that if you g guess it correctly, play a file called lesgo.wav. I'll make this file. Yeah, I like a limit to guessing it. This is so much fun already. Like, what what kind of shit do we already get tonight? Oh my god! You know what I have to try at the end? Just to know, I know this is not PG thirteen, but I have to try porn. Let's replace the code. Okay, guess the number. Sixty nine again. Too high. <laughs> Too low. Too low. Too high. Fifty five. Fifty. Too high. Forty-eight. It played it. <laughs> it played. It. Oh my god! I should I should tell it to write like a Wordle clone in Python. Wordle clone in Python. Oh, it's it's it's, it's look! It's showing it. It's showing the rules. <laughs> no 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 no! This is not what I wanted. I'm gonna reset thread. Okay. Uh, make a Python program to show Apple's stock price uh, values over the past year as a graph. Okay, you know what? If this is actually what you have stocks in your phone, please check values. Check the values of. I'm gonna install some modules. Oh no! Note that the program uses dummy data. Let's see if it can at least render the graph. It's doing something. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Something. That's not Apple stock. I want to see if it gets like follow-up commands. Okay. So I'm gonna try asking it. Now modify the program so that it pulls data 
Apple's real Apple stock data. Oh, it's it's making it on like finance.example.com. It, it can't access the internet, so it can't really find a real API. So what it's just gonna do instead, it's gonna like make up like this URL and then you have to fill in your URL. But like the rest of the code is the same. You know what, let's let's add a sec segment to the video. Hello, Pari. That's enough for the video. <laughs> Bro, my editor's gonna have to do so much work to cut out your absolutely horrendous presence. I have enough problems in my life without you existing. Make a comment moderation system in Python, like it moderates comments. If it does that, S tier. If it doesn't, then well, it's still cool. Hey, I'm gonna ask you to make a chat room in Python uh, using socket. And then I'll actually put this up. Oh, yeah, let me tell you to make a basic chat room in Python. Python that does not require a database. This is the final test. If it does this, then that's really cool. It's doing it, it's doing it. Oh my god, oh I know it's using socket. Oh, this can actually work, you know? You know what I'm gonna do, guys? Okay, before this video goes live, I will create this, I will like, publish this chat room somewhere, and I will <laughs> put it up on a server, and I will create a web, like a web client. This web client I will not do through um, the chatbot, because I want to actually do it quickly. Uh, and this may require me to like, style it appropriately and stuff. I'm not gonna do it. Um, Point being, I will create this and then I will let you guys chat on it. Like, I will put the link in the description. Oh, gods, it's really putting out code. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. Okay, here's my follow-up request to this, right? Now, create a client for this. Oh, it's just like a basic chat room where everyone can just like put a message and it like allows everyone. Okay, let's, uh, let's redo this. Create a basic chat room that requires no database in Python. Oh, I have to... What? Wait, it's working online, what? Hmm? Hold on. What is it trying to do? Oh, I know what it's trying to do. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. Let it, let it try. Make this chat room online. See, let's try. So what I did is, it, this time it tried to create an offline one, where you just type messages on your own computer, like a simulator. It's a little slower. Oh. Okay, it's, it's doing it fast. Okay, we're gonna try this. Oh, oh, I know what it's doing. Oh my god, you know what? This can actually really work well. Because what I can do is, it's going to be like a thing where you type uh, a, like a request in your browser URL and then users like go to that request and then the chat will just be delivered. Oh, this can work. I, I talk about it. Sorry, I mean, uh, I need to talk this out, I guess. Okay, this can actually work. This this will actually work. This will really work. Hold on. Sid, what do you expect? This will this work? Yeah. It's doing it! See it gave us this URL. Let's go here. One eternity later. Now it should work. And if it doesn't, then I suck as a coder. Well, the AI sucks. Oh, oh, check it out! Oh, uh Sid. And socket send. Oh, there was another error. Okay, there are some errors in the code that it wrote, and I need to fix. Oh, it's not imported a lot of shit. Uh, okay, I know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so um, it sort of didn't work, and the reason is there are like one or two other errors, and I know like I could ask it to fix them. Okay. Uh, and it would because I've tried that before, but I'm well this video is really long already and I have to edit a lot of stuff Well, I don't have to edit but he has to edit um, So we're gonna stop but I mean overall it's still pretty cool. I mean I can get it to do my homework So what does this mean? Look, it's clearly powerful um, It can write essays with a hand that if 
you know slightly edited is way better than something like that i would be able to write or sid will be able to write um uh, considering both of us can like write pretty well he's already laughing in the corner i'm trying to compliment you uh and it can do most stuff like if you ask it doubts and stuff it can answer that to an extent it can even write code now the last translation was not really great uh there were some errors and um i will fix those and i will put the chat room in the description don't worry about that um but it can write code that's the entire point and what i'm really blown away by is the sheer speed of things i mean it feels like i am telling a software developer to write code and software developer is doing it except that at this point it's doing it in like 10 seconds now this is not going to replace full stack developers right now or maybe in the next few years um because there are still a lot of errors and actually stack overflow the website where you can like ask questions on code has banned answers from this because people were just people who didn't know the topics were just using this to like answer questions um what i do see this doing is replacing things like google and stack overflow themselves um in terms of answering questions for people because if i wanted a question on code answered it would just be so much more helpful if i asked this than ask something like stack overflow and from my testing which i have done outside in fact so then i spent like what 2 hours almost to no an hour and a half playing with it just like doing random stuff with it and it got most of it correct and even if you want to make some basic software or even like an outline for something that you are going to work on later on it really helps now it is in beta so i am just really excited to see what happens when this comes out in a stable form you can try this and i'll provide the link in the description as i said for free and uh, have fun i guess but let me know in the comments what do you think what do you think about ai bots as such i really know that this is going to bring some nice controversy and all that stuff it's going to be a lot of fun uh let me know in the comments what you think and let me know in the comments of what do you think of bots replacing humans in answering code questions and stuff right developers jump on this one all right guys this is phoenix i'm signing out i feel well reality is too annoying right now so i'm going to go into the ai world and like play with this a little more and i'll see you in the next one camera is rolling i'm going to get up and uh, go here uh, audio is also rolling i am going to down am i still in frame yeah you are okay much okay. uh okay rolling that's rolling um audio is also rolling i oh shit what the uh, oh you bought the subscription no my phone uh, is recognized as a pixel right so all pixels get like unlimited space okay oh, wow. this chair makes oh what yeah right that's so cool right that's some um, yeah, that's actually awesome. <laughs> right let us pour out from the edge and let's go um okay okay that is uh, recording i will come and shut down oh my god am i still in frame yep